Time to figure out how you'll spend your night. You don't know Goop. He builds a Googlide. He's the goofy sort, but... Says goodbye to you. a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap trying to keep the area clean. It's the Chug Yard. For the night, the darker it gets. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxinol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like, well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets.
Couldn't stand another hour of daylight. Small things for your big ideas. Bumper Bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Let's see. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. The story will go on as long as there is someone there to listen. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. You get it. The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. 
You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. He understands history made Looper Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. is how you shine light at the dark. Seriously, don't doubt the dark. Ugh. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Can't believe you let that loser sway you. Ugh. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. <laughs> Understands why you're bent on finishing the world off. Supposes it's a mercy to make it faster. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Buff. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the Apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination. <laughs> 